Alright, this is a weekly love reading for Virgo. It's going to be the Oracle of Love Reading. And usually with oracles, I have messages. And this week is no exception. Um, so, your love number for the week is going to be 76. You can also do the angel heart number, but mm, uh, I decided to do the love numbers. They're a little interesting. They're kind of like angel numbers, but angel numbers give you guidance. Um, love readings kind of tell you things that you didn't know about yourself. It's interesting. It's an entirely different ballgame, but either would work in this case. So, people who are in relationships or uh, have relationships with somebody for loneliness purposes or public <laughs> publicity also are also courageous um, act of jeopardizing something else. Um, believe that the angels will bring you to new encounters and opportunities. Your courageous decisions will always follow the proper path. So you might be with somebody who you, you just have around so you're not lonely, or you might have a relationship based on public appeal where it makes you more popular because of the person you're with or because you guys look like a good couple or it's just you both are famous or you both are on the same standard or in the same group of friends um, so there's there's that weird disconnect from what you want and what looks good on you you know it's, holding up one style just to suit somebody else, you know. Um, not always a good path to follow, by the way. It just um, prolongs the inevitable. <laughs> Where people are going to start questioning your relationship or what your person likes, and then it's all going to fall apart because you never had that conversation with that person. Because you never gotten that intimate with that person <laughs> where you know their preferences on certain things. Um, so, you yeah. know. Interesting. Anyway, there's a new course that needs to be taken in this, and I was getting that very harshly. I get kind of like the little, the little tic-tac-toe of messages. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, but it's to clear my throat because of work. Um, <laughs> my voice sounds like a weasel. I had that fluid removed, and now I'm... Uh, I don't have any any sweet voice anymore. So anyway, number one is going to be what is the core of the problem? The core of the problem is the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is loss of securities stuck at a chosen way even though you do not know what to expect at the end. A possible occurrence of difficult selections, modesty, and temperance will be good guides. So you're going to have to change <laughs> change what you believe. If you're alone, be alone. If you're, you know, if you're lonely, you need to get out of that situation. Because the fact is, is that if you feel lonely now, imagine if this person that you're just with for, you know, companionship leaves. You know, you're going to be hurt in many different ways. Like, nobody wants to be around you, stuff like that. And then it gets into psychological disorder of, Feeling abandoned. The orphan syndrome, as they call it. So, there's uh, something there that's constantly going to be weighing on you if you stay in a relationship that doesn't really have any security to it. Anyway, number two, what is this uh, situation with you? You have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, um, it is not advisable to force the issues. It is not possible to force anybody to accept a situation or a solution or a problem in a violent way. Uh, reached victory will be painful and bitter. So you're trying to tell somebody that they need to stay with you because of certain reasons and they're kind of telling you that they want to leave. So it's keeping somebody against their will to keep you occupied or distracted or so that you have somebody so you don't feel lonely um that's a lot of people in this generation but um 
I can assure you being single is a lot of fun. Because I don't have to deal with shit. I don't have to deal with people's insecurities and weird shit. I just deal with myself. When I want to find a relationship, I'll put myself out there. But not until then. I enjoy my freedom a lot. Anyway, uh, let's see. Number three. We have, what is the attitude of the other person? Probably the same as mine. Um, they have the king of cups. The king of cups is frankness and goodness. There are positive qualities, however. There will, it will not help you to solve your current situation. Uh, danger of becoming alienated from the reality. It is necessary to wait for a flow of inspiration. So this person is probably waiting for the perfect opportunity to leave. They will, um, they'll probably put a lot of different other distractions in motion in order for them as a distraction to leave. So there's some sensitivity to this too. So it could hurt you, it could hurt this person, but at the same time it's a growing character mechanism as well. Where they have to kind of tell you the truth, <laughs> all right? So uh, brace yourself. Uh, some of the some of the shits gonna hit the fan really fast, and some of your personal information is gonna be out there for the world to see. So it's better not to date somebody just because you don't want to be alone. Because they always have hidden motives or they have hidden distractions that <laughs> they're blackmailing you with. You know, you could have a kid and. You know, they'll be blackmailing you on that and all this other stuff. But they'll try to play the victim so that they get sympathy and then you kind of get all the blame. So be careful. Um, there's a lot of really you know, crazy people out there. Anyway, so number four. <coughs> we have what does the card or oracle recommend? We have the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is poetic justice in a sense. Um, so we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is uh, human happiness. There is happy coincidence applying to a relationship. Um, emphasis on emotions. You will go through a strong emotional event. Of feeling of fulfillment. So there's going to be a feeling that you're in a good relationship. And it's not going to be with your current relationship unless there's a reason for you to stay in this relationship. Probably a child or third party situation. But there's going to be something that either comes up in a different relationship that you'll be glad that you left the current one for or... There's going to be other things that bring you away from your current relationship. Uh, so, you know, the, either or. But this this uh, current relationship, I feel like there's a lot of holes in it. So it could have been superficially put together um, as a coup, you know, to fool the public, you know. But, you know, the truth will find figure you out, find you out, uh, consider... You know, the following. But there's... There's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out to the public. Uh, so, you know, that's probably why you're staying with this person. So that they're not blackmailing you. But at the same time, it's like... Is it really that bad? If people find out about you? It's, I don't think so. Anyway, Virgo. Hopefully everything works out. If you're in a superficial relationship superficiality of the relationship will start to crumble. So, hopefully you understand that and that you make good decisions. And I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.